Hello YouTube, this is Frugal. This is the Frugal Sim News for today, Sunday, April 23rd. First up, scenery news for X-Plane with Orlando for X-Plane. Nimbus Studios' rendition of Florida's second busiest airport is now available. There are X-Plane 10 and 11 versions. There are two separate versions, but they're both included in the same package. It features dynamic water and glass reflections in X-Plane 11, full HDR lighting, fully modeled buildings and bridges, custom HD ground textures, tons of custom trees, which actually look really cool, static aircraft on the ground, animated trains and ground traffic, as well as gates with the AutoGate plugin. Also features ATC compliant taxi routes. The price is $24.95 from the X-Plane.org store, linked in the show notes below. Next scenery is Salt Lake City for X-Plane. The video is from Flight Worldwide. It's linked in the show notes below. Please hop on over to his channel and give him a few hundred likes and subscribes to say thanks for me. Salt Lake City from Short Final Design, AKA Mr. X, a well-known freeware producer is out now. It's an accurate rendition of the airport and many parts of the nearby city. Also includes accurate terminals, hangars, and other buildings, many including the interior. Dynamic reflections work, of course, on X-Plane 11, as well as baked in ambient occlusion on both 10 and 11. Photo scenery based textures are used at a resolution of 15 centimeters per pixel. It also features custom HDR night lighting, animated vehicles, jetways, and KSLC's unique docking guidance system. The price is $24.95, and again, it's available for X-Plane 10 and 11, linked in the show notes below. Next up, DCS World Campaign News, with the launch of the DCS UH-1H Argo Campaign. Now, this is a completely fictional story-driven campaign where you play the role of a pilot in the Hellenic Navy on the FFG-46 Argo frigate. Apparently, in the story, the Navy has doubts about the long-term viability of the Huey and a naval role, so it's up to you to prove the bird is up to the task. The campaign features 15 story-driven missions with 300 custom voiceovers and over 100 pages of briefing, maps, and so on. The price is the usual $9.99. It requires DCS World 1.5. More information at the digitalcombatsimulator.com link in the show notes below. Next up, over in the world of FSX and Prepared, Ultimate Traffic Live is now available for preview. Now, this has been in beta for a while, and Flight One have just recently made it available to all as a soft release. It's still a little beta in places. It's also not compatible with Ultimate Traffic 2, so if you have that, you'll need to disable it before trying out Ultimate Traffic Live. Now, I did cover Ultimate Traffic Live some time ago in a new show as a preview myself, so to repeat what I said back then, this is the latest version of fan favorite Ultimate traffic. It has a completely overhauled user interface and the screenshots and the live in the name seem to imply live traffic data from the real world. However, Steve Halpern at Flight One's initial post about the product only talks about routes based on real world sits and stars and a follow-up comment to another forum user stating the live concept is not based around ATC but more about how the simulation can adapt to different scenarios or conditions within the sim. For example, flight delays. Regardless, Ultimate Traffic is regarded by many as one of the best traffic add-ons out there, and I'm looking forward to seeing this. Now it's available on Prepared. The price is $44.95. If you also own Ultimate Traffic 2, you can download a 33% off discount coupon from the link in the show notes below. Next up, back to IL-2, and a weird one I didn't know about. Thanks for the tip on this on the comments last week. Cliffs of Dover got updated with the Team Fusion patches. Now, FYI, the video you're watching is actually the original Cliffs of Dover trailer. Yeah, I don't have a trailer for the updates, but the updates do look significantly better than what you're looking at right now. The Team Fusion patches represent a two and a half gigabyte patch that completely overhauls the entire sim, bringing with it improved visuals, improved simulations of each aircraft and flight dynamics, including taking into account structural G, much improved and realistically modeled overheating dynamics, always a bane of flying the old at war, birds in combat in IL-2, new AI and flyable aircraft, new ships, improved lighting, drivable tanks and artillery, improved clouds, improved sounds, improved damage modeling, and there's, there's really a ton more. Check out the links. There are numerous links in the show notes below, both to the actual Steam page for Cliffs of Dover, Team Fusion patch overview, and a beginner's guide to getting started with the patch. It looks phenomenal. If you already own Cliffs of Dover, it's completely free. 
Next up, the Level D767 has been updated for a prepared and brings with it a new virtual cockpit. Now, Level D, the other study level Boeing builder, have updated their iconic 767-300 for prepared. I heard about this last week, but I decided not to cover it as it appeared to be just a platform update and I don't cover those unless they add something significant. Then I discovered that there is also a completely overhauled virtual cockpit from Zinertec for this aircraft as well. First, the aircraft. It is an incredibly deep study level sim of the 767. In fact, it is the only study level 767 sim out there for prepared and FSX. It features an accurate flight model, fully modeled systems, including completely accurate FMS and FMC, all tested and of course verified by actual 767 pilots. Now the cockpit, Zinertec released an updated virtual cockpit many years ago for the FS9 version of this aircraft. This one, however, has been completely rebuilt from the ground up with brand new day and night textures for FSX and prepared. It features HD textures, new floodlights, realistic night lighting, new EHSI and ICAST displays with reflections, new GBWS callout sounds, and best of all, it's apparently frame rate friendly. The Level D 767 is $54.95 for FSX and prepared version 3 from Flight 1, linked in the show notes below. The FS2004 owners get a discount as well, and the Zinertec HD virtual cockpit for the aircraft is €9.99, available from Sim Market, also linked in the show notes below. Now, final bit of news this week, I Blew Yonder's Heron's Nest has released, and it's free. Heron's Nest is a small island off the coast of Maine. It's deserted except for a single house, a small dirt strip, and a float base. Now, Bill Womack, I Blew Yonder, does some excellent work, and this is no exception, making it even more awesome that this is available to download completely for free. It features, as you can see in the video, a fantastic level of detail, HD textures, and given the location, some unique challenges flying there, since the weather can get really nasty up in Maine. It's available right now for all versions of FSX and Prepared version 3 from the link in the show notes below. That's it for this week's show. As always, if I did miss something, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll take a look to see if it's worth including in next week's show. Until then, though, thanks very much for taking the time to watch this. My name is Frugal, and I will see you all very soon.